Hey guys, in this video, we are going to learn that how you can transfer your WhatsApp data from an iPhone device to an Android device. So in this video, I am just going to be sharing one method only because that is the only method that works. And it's an official method given by WhatsApp themselves. So if you're moving your WhatsApp account from an iPhone to an Android device, then you can transfer lots of information such as account information, profile photo, individual chats, group chats, chat history, media and settings and much more. But keep in mind that you cannot transfer your call history, status updates or media received over WhatsApp channels. So I hope this thing is cleared. Now let's talk about the prerequisites before you start to move your WhatsApp data from iPhone to an Android. So first we have to determine that what kind of Android device do you have. So let's say if you have a Samsung device then this process is gonna be much smoother for you since with the latest Samsung smart switch app you don't have to reset your Android phone and you can transfer all of your whatsapp data just with the help of this app but in this video we're not gonna be going into that detail much as this process is not for everybody so we're gonna focus more on the generalized process but don't worry because the process is very similar you just have to do that without resetting your phone and just using the smart switch app so if you have a Google pixel device or any other Android device with Android 12 or or above then this method will surely work for you but if you have a phone which does not have Android 12 and it is Android version below Android 12 then unfortunately this method won't be working for you then you have to make sure that your factory reset your Android device so for the iPhones if you have any iPhone that is below iPhone 15 then you're gonna need a lightning to USB-C cable but let's just say if you have iPhone 15 or above then you're gonna need a type C to type C cable and also make sure that you have the same phone number on the new device as the old device also make sure to install the latest whatsapp version available in the play store so up next you just have to follow these steps to move your chats from an iphone to an android so on my left side i have my iphone 15 pro max and on the right side i have my google pixel 7a so first i have to make sure that i've downloaded the latest whatsapp ios version available in the app store for that let's just first go to app store tap on it and here search for whatsapp tap on search and here tap on whatsapp messenger and here as you can see it's asking for update so just tap on the update and now open your whatsapp and now let's go to the settings option here and now just tap on the chat section here and now tap on move chats to android so now we have to set up our android device and for that we have to reset our phone so let's do that first so go to the settings app here on our pixel device scroll down and here tap on system now again scroll down and just tap on reset options and here just select erase all data factory reset and now just tap on erase all data enter your pin again it will ask for a confirmation so just tap on erase all data so while the phone is getting factory reset make sure that you have already backed up all of your phone's data on google drive or any equivalent cloud server so that you don't lose your data from anywhere so now the factory reset is done let's just set up our pixel device uh, let's tap on get started tap on see all wi-fi networks connect to a wi-fi so our phone is getting ready so now this section has appeared copy apps and data this is important so as you see it's written here you can choose to transfer your apps photos contacts google account and more so we have to focus on apps so now what we have to do is we have to connect both of these devices via the cable when this screen appears so let's do that so let's first insert this here and similarly here so again automatically this prompt will appear on your android device to check your other device to continue check your iphone and approve the connection so here on iphone it's showing the trust this computer so just tap on trust enter your device passcode then and here on android you can see the devices are connected all right so tap on next and it will ask you to add your google account so just do that tap on next tap on i agree and as you can see it's getting ready to copy all of our data from iphone to android and this step may take a while so now we have to choose what to copy so right now we just want to copy your whatsapp data only so for that we'll just deselect all of the other things here but if you want to copy any other data you can also do that now we just have to focus on apps if i just tap on apps here you can see which of the apps data will get copied for now we just only want whatsapp so we're gonna deselect everything here and then just select whatsapp then tap on ok and here again just one app is selected that is whatsapp so now just tap on copy and this qr code will appear now we'll have to use our iphone camera to scan this qr code so let's do that so on our iphone just open camera and go to the photo mode 
and here just tap on this prompt here that open in WhatsApp. So since I already told you to go to this space, if you've already done, then scanning this QR code is not required. But in any case that you are having trouble scanning, so as it is written here on your iPhone, you can open WhatsApp, then go to settings, chats, move chats to Android. Now on your iPhone, you just have to tap on the start button. So just tap on start, data will start to get copied. Here again, add your passcode and follow all of these prompts here on your Android device. So once it is done, so as it is shown here in the iPhone, you can continue on your new phone and just set up your Android phone as usual. But once when you are done, then you have to open WhatsApp to restore your chat history and media. So now coming back to our Android device, if you want, you can back up your device if you have not already done that. So for now, let's just tap on turn on backup. Tap on next. And here you have to set your pin. Continue. Tap on not now. Again tap not now. Skip. Skip. No thanks. Skip. No thanks. So now it's copying our WhatsApp data and it's shown here that keep your devices connected. That means keep the cable here as it is and keep the devices also turned on. So it's going to take about 48 minutes as it's showing here. So we have to wait for a while. But if you want to copy the data, if you see the time is too much, then you can just tap on stop copying. But we have to show this to you. So we are not going to tapping on that. So now the transfer has finished. So now what you have to do is you just have to open WhatsApp on your Android device. If it is not installed, then you just have to go to the Play Store and install WhatsApp from there. Now you have to verify your account using the same phone number used on your old device. That is our iPhone. So just add your old number and just tap on verify and then just tap on start when you will get prompted to import your chat history and once you do that you just have to wait for a while and all of your whatsapp data is here on your android device which is pretty amazing and again this is for google pixel devices and any other android devices with android 12 or newer version and for samsung devices with the smart switch app it's the similar steps just without the resetting part also here's a little side note that you cannot transfer your whatsapp chats from an iphone to an android device if you're using whatsapp business so that was our official method by which you can transfer your whatsapp data from an iphone to an android whether you are switching to a new android device and you're done with your iphone or let's just say you already have an android device and you want to use it now instead of your iphone device there are other methods as well such as using third party apps but i won't recommend that especially when you're transferring whatsapp data from an iphone to an android because when it comes to transferring data from an android to an iphone then these third party apps sometimes work as we have already made a video on that but when it comes to iphone to android things are tricky here because most of the apps charge heavy amount and don't also give you a guarantee whether the data will get transferred or not so as of now this is the only foolproof method by which you can transfer your whatsapp data from an iphone to an android as this official method is given by whatsapp only if you don't trust me then you can also check the article in the description below having said that this is the end of the video if you like this video then share it with your friends and family or whoever uses whatsapp and wants to change their device from an iphone to an android and if you've reached that then definitely like this video share it with your friends and family and of course don't forget to subscribe to geekified for more such amazing content related to tech with that i'll see you guys in the next video till then keep enjoying your life